Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name's Austin. Killers of the Flower Moon stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, and Lily Gladstone, and this is directed by Martin Scorsese. In the 1920s, members of the Osage Native American tribe of Osage Country, Oklahoma, are murdered after oil is found on their land and the FBI decides to investigate. This was a movie that I was actually really looking forward to. The trailers weren't really doing anything for me. The po like the promos, like the posters, weren't that really interesting and that's probably where this movie's gonna like fall apart it's not i'm it's not gonna attract people that much unless you actually know who leonardo dicaprio is who if you know who uh, robert de niro is and if you know who martin scorsese is and most likely a lot of people are gonna know who they are but now with this like with the modern day um society like you have to have like a really good poster and a really good trailer to get anyone to come into the theater um, and that's where this movie's gonna lie. It's even more with the how long this movie is. This movie is three and a half hours long. This is 30 minutes longer than Oppenheimer. And I think that this movie does a better time with its runtime than um, Oppenheimer did. If you go to the bathroom before the movie, trust me. Trust me, it's gonna be worth it. This is this is one of my favorite movies of the year. I'm, I'm just gonna say that straight out. Let's, let's just talk about Robert De Niro. Freaking, this dude is like, I think 70 in his 80s probably. This dude could have freaking not even tried in this movie and you know, got like a paycheck and left. But this dude puts in the effort. He plays William Hale, which is the uncle of Erston, that is uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's character in the film. And he does a great job giving off like a Southern accent, which it's just, you just really buy him as this guy who like at first seems like a very nice guy who uh, you know, really does a lot for this town and actually you just slowly see like he has this like sort of schemes that he goes around doing and next like there's oil involvement. So at some point in the film you see this other dark side to him and it's just he does a really great job and that's pretty much all I can really go into about his character. Um, but you know he does a, he just like he pulls every scene and I feel like and everyone does a great job in this film. Leonardo DiCaprio like He's a great actor, and this is up there with one of his best performances of all time. And you know, he's that actor where you just like, you don't really know how to rank his performances because like they're all great. Like they're most, like 90% of his movies from his performance alone, not the movies, but his performance alone are really good. So it's like hard to, you know, rank him and it's like, and you kind of expect him to be really great when it comes to, to his performance and all that. and. Man, like when like the scenes actually hit, you feel it. Like it's like he he does a great job. Um, freaking uh, Lily uh, Gladstone stands out in this film. Like it without her, the film could feel like very hollow. She pulls that heartstring when like you know her family members, her brothers, her sisters, um, mothers are getting brutally murdered. You, you actually care about. Lily and Leonardo, their relationship, uh, and it's like, you don't want anything really bad to happen, but you know that Leonardo isn't really doing the right things. Like, he, know, like, he knows that certain things are going on in the background, and um, he sort of kind of helps out, but he's also at the same time being manipulated by um, Robert De Niro to, towards his own wife, because like there's a whole entire situation with that where did he know what, what, was, what he was doing to his wife the whole entire time? Like, did he really know? Like, there's a, like, it's, it leaves a lot of questions up the, in the air, which I don't mind. I don't mind, like, you know, questions up, like, did he know this or did he not know that? But I don't like when a film that goes overboard where, like, there's 20 questions. So it gives you enough, like, you know, information and, like, satisfaction by the end, but it also leaves you wondering, like, did, like, what did this, like what happened here? The really big negative I really have with the film is the ending. Like that's like a really big negative, um, because the ending turns into like a tell and don't show. Because like a situ like a like a character passes away, and we're told that I'm like really, I, I just show me. I feel like if you show me that it hits more. But I think since it's based off a book, which I'm pretty sure is actually based off a true event that actually happened, 
Um, it, it's like he's sort of like you know hinting at like the book. I guess I don't. I have no idea. I never read the book, which I've heard things that this movie, like the main character in this movie, Leonardo, uh, Leonardo's character, isn't the main character in the book. It's somebody else. I think it's like his brother that's the main character. Um, I th uh, in the book, but I, I I don't know the two differences. Um, but I just didn't really like that end. I didn't really like the ending how they did it. It felt very out of place. It it's just like if it was more set up to have that type of ending, like something at like Asteroid City, um, then it would felt a little bit more better. But I just didn't. I didn't really like that too much. And sometimes I will say this: it was sort of kind of hard. Maybe for one or two scenes, it was kind of hard to follow. I'm like, okay, wait, what happened here? Oh, okay. And that character died? Okay, cool. It's like, so there's maybe like a little, you know, stumble across, like like a little trip um, and, a, and a couple parts of the film and next to that ending. But overall, that, this like, this is a really good movie. I really, I didn't even feel the runtime. I was more getting, I was more, you know, getting pissed off at people talking <laughs> throughout the whole entire film. And I had to look, I had to do both. I had to pay attention to the movie and like listen to the movie and like look at them like just just like shut the f and they noticed that I was looking I was like just like please shut up type of deal shut sh shut the fuck up those are the people that should you know wait for the movie to go on streaming and like people like you and I who really love the movies and respect everyone else this like you know you know just like all want to go watch a movie those are the people we uh, should go see this in theaters but those type of people going if you want to act like it's your living room then you wait until it goes on streaming. I'm gonna give Killers of the Flower Moon a A minus. I really like this film a lot. It was it's a it's a very like personal storytelling here, and it was very well done. Um, and yeah, so go check it out. I this is a film that you guys need to go th to the theaters to see. So go check it out. If you guys have already seen it, let me know your guys' thoughts on it down in the comment section below. Um, go check out my dubby. My Dubby. Go check out Dubby, who I'm partners with now. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. They're like an energy drink company. It, they're, I've been trying out some of their stuff, and they're really good stuff. Um, they keep me awake to do these uh, some of these long edit videos as well, especially like the movie commentaries. They get me through a lot of those. So yeah, go check those out. I'll leave a link in the uh, description. You can use my code for 10% off. But anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. And like always, I'll see you guys next review. Bye, guys.